So have you ever thought how you express yourself in your daily life, your feelings? Well, we show our facial expressions to convey our emotions, our state of mind, and we do it every day. We don't even think. Let's start with a smile. So what's the smile? Why do we smile? And how do we smile? So every day you smile again and again. Maybe you're enjoying a moment. Maybe you're giving a message. But let's see what happens during a smile. So anatomically and physiologically, we have this zygomatic major muscle out here. And when we contract it, we have a smile. So it gets our lip corners upwards, and you look like enjoying the moment or giving a message. But of course, it's, it's not only a facial expression. There are many more, and seven of those are universally recognized. So happiness, sadness, surprise, fear, anger, disgust, and even contempt. So these facial expressions of emotions do not change with your gender. They do not change with your culture, even with your race. And if you know these facial expressions, if you can recognize them universally, you can also automatically understand them. That's what we do. OK, so now you see a kind of setup of an automatic system to recognize facial expressions. So first, we have lots of images and videos. We collect them from daily life, there are databases, and so on. We detect facial points on the face, for instance, lip corners, eye corners, and many more. Then we model their moments, and even the appearance of your facial uh, expressions. So when you have this knowledge, we can train our intelligent algorithms. So we call them machine learning algorithms. OK, here, the digital brain you see is actually the trained system of ours. Then we have another image we would like to analyze. So first, we detect the face we would like to analyze. Then we, again, find our features, like the points, or we try to describe the appearance. And our knowledge, our trained system can say, oh, this is happiness, this is joy. So it's doable for real human faces, yes. But it can also be applied to artworks. So in collaboration with uh, art historians, we did a study. We analyzed facial expressions conveyed, the expressions portrayed during golden age of Dutch art, and what we found. Because the important thing in that time is the quality of expressions. Did they convey the expressions? Did they show them well or not? So the thing we do, again, as we do for human faces, we find the face, we locate our features, and then we can say what the expression is. So for art historians, this self-portrait of Rembrandt is actually about fear-surprise mixture. If you check our system, yeah, 65% fear, and the rest is generally surprise and a bit disgust. Um, so we can say that. Of course, we know Rembrandt is a master of expressions. Uh, here is kind of proof. He proved himself at that time, in mid-17th century. Another example. So here, first, we have a story. Right? So this is a visualization of a game, of a theater play from 1600s. Ungrateful Fulvius and faithful Octavia. So they, they had problems, and in the end, they are uh, being uh, reunited here, as you see. And the painter would like to give kind of 
natural expression. In the meantime, we'd like to signal this yeah. happiness yeah. in the face. As you see here, mostly it's natural, maybe, yes, but you can still capture the happiness and joy. Okay, so let's make things a bit different. All these paintings, all these nice, well-painted, well-sketched Dutch facial expression paintings, Tronies, none of them are that much famous, right? But why? What is so special about Mona Lisa? What is different? And what is the expression here? So the difference of Mona Lisa is actually its dynamic behavior. So if you focus on eyes, let's do it together, just focus on eyes, then you will feel like it's a face of smiling. A bit, not much, but giving this joy feeling because of the shadows around the lip corners. And if you focus on the mouth region, really, really focusing on, and if you can really see the shadows, then you can say, ah, oh, it's actually a natural face. But the knowledge of Leonardo da Vinci, of light and anatomy, he can play this kind of tricks. And this is not by chance. This, this was indicated in his notebooks at that time. So he would like to do a dynamic facial expression image, because he was indicating that People would look like this in the streets. All right, so if we have temporal knowledge, so in that image, for instance, in Mona Lisa, you have actually two different paintings in one painting, so you have this transition feeling. You have the temporal information, and it's special. So if you have videos instead of single images, we can extract the dynamics. So what are dynamics of facial expression? Facial expression is not only about the appearance. It's also about the intensity. It's also about the speed and acceleration. So if you have this kind of knowledge, not only the meaning of the expression, you can also recognize the details of the expression. So here you see, for instance, the recognition between spontaneous, let's say felt joy, or the pause joy. So this is a very well done paused expression. But the system can say, yeah, it's a paused, because its dynamics are different. And you would like to have this kind of information in many different systems. So for some of you and for some people, this is kind of creepy, maybe. Yeah? That intelligence systems, after a while, everywhere. But do you know what? This is a good thing. So these intelligent systems will help us to have a better life, healthier life, safer life. How? Let's have two quick examples. Imagine that we can diagnose psychological and neurological problems, disorders, in a much more easier way. So we are already studying on detecting depression, for instance, based on your facial dynamics. And even imagine smart cars, if you are kind of nervous, imagine that it starts a calm music to make you happier, or a bit force you to go, you know, park somewhere, just rest a bit. So now I would like to ask a quick question. Can you activate your orbicularis oculi, which is around the eyes, and also zygomatic major muscle, slowly, and just try to feel happy. Thank you very much.